Hello, this is Cool Simon Sky, and welcome to System Test 19. This system test is going to be different compared to the other ones I've made, and you're about to find out why, judging by the title. I'll try not to drag on the video too long, but I'm going to go ahead and show you all the devices that I have on the system. So we still got the MSI 200 as usual. And then I got these two relay modules, and I'm going to explain uh, the use of these two, because they are going to have a use for it. Down here, I got the Firelight BG12LX, I got the newer model. Over here, so I'm kind of making sounds, I don't know why. I got a Wheelock ET70 241575W. And these are all the notification appliances that I'm using on the system, with the exception of the Wheelock RSS 24MCW as well as my System Sensor L-Series speak, uh, ceiling speaker. Now, the reason I have all speaker strobes up is because uh, it is going to be a voice evac system. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. So we got another Wheelock ET70, and I got the FCI MS2 Pulse Station. And over here, I got a System Sensor 2400. I got my FCI MS2. This one's just a little more faded than the other one. Let's go look at the modules. Another System Sensor 2400. And I got my Wheelock MTB, which obviously has been here since the System Size 16. However, the strobe is going to, uh, only the strobe is going to be operating. The horn's disconnected, and you're going to see why. The pull station in here is another FCI MS2. And above it, Another Wheelock ET70 241575W. And up here, I got a, I got the Firelight SD300, which is the adjustable version up to 2400. Last but not least in here, I got the system sensor heat detector in here. And then, come over here. I got my newer style FCI MS2. This is the one I came from my school. And of course, another Wheelock ET70. 241575W, and I also got a surprise. You ready? Bam! I now have a conventional smoke detector spot right near the water heater. This one's the System Sensor i3. I don't have another 2400 smoke detector. If I did, I probably would use it to keep the system consistent. And then I got my Wheelock Deluxe strobe and carbon monoxide detector. Over here at the main fire light control panel, we got system normal, and if we open it up, Remember when I told you I had this MP3 board? Well, this is actually gonna be controlling the speakers on the speaker strobes. Now I'm gonna explain how I have this set up. So I have one of the trigger wheels going to the alarm, one of the alarm relays, which would be this. So when I pull the fire alarm, it will trip this relay module and it will play a fire message. Now we have another trigger wheel, which is down here where my finger is. That's for the carbon monoxide detector. So when I activate carbon monoxide, it's going to trip this relay module. And it's going to play a different message for carbon monoxide. The best part about the setup is that with these two relay modules I have, they are both silenceable. So when I silence the system, it will turn off the relay module, which will also shut off the speakers. And then obviously this CMS300 will trip when I activate the carbon monoxide as well as this module if the carbon monoxide detector gets activated. One more thing, I actually did wire, so this input is actually coming from the NAC, well, not actually coming from the NACs, but I, because right now I have, well, actually NAC1 is still wired up, but right now it's been resistored off, so that way I can wire up the quote-unquote NAC1, which would be the horn circuit, into the speaker input so that way I can have speakers all wired up and running if that makes any sense. Before I filmed this system test I have came across a few system test errors lately which has to do with the synchronization with the strobe lights. They're all wheel locks however it would either miss a flash or just randomly go out of sync. I've been trying to tinker around with the fire light power supply to see if there's a way to fix it so hopefully I was able to fix it up and all the strobes will be synchronized. And judged by the pull stations that I have up, I think you know what voice evac message it's gonna play. I have the FCI voice evac message 
gonna be playing from the fire alarms. So we'll go ahead and activate the system. So all you just do is lift and pull down. So the strobes are out of sync. Strobe's not flashing in, in the closet. Actually, don't need a silence it, but I have the system silenced, but give it a minute. Now the RSS is flashing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the BG-12, so I'm going to lock the panel. We even got a speaker strobe in the laundry room. Now, here's the weirdest thing that happens. Okay, we got my keys. Uh, I'm trying to find where my screwdriver went. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building and evacuate the building. Now, with this board, you can actually adjust the volume. But, here's what happens. Turn it down just a little bit. Maybe if I turn it down just a little more. Okay. And your eyes aren't deceiving you. Now the RSS decides to flash. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and evacuate the building. Well, the system is somewhat in sync. All right, let's go ahead and silence the system. But here's what happens when I silence it. The audio shuts off. But watch all the strobes just suddenly synchronize. I'll go ahead and just come over here. The one in the closet's not flashing with this spear, so for some reason it missed a few flashes. Now the system's in sync, which is very weird. I think I gotta get like some sort of uh, 
uh, amplifier so that way I can have like a real voice back set up. But, oh yeah, I forgot I activated that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, reset the panel. And um, we'll go ahead and activate another device. Okay, we'll do this pulse station right here. So it's got the annoying stopper, which I hate, but I still put it up. So the reason I had to make it quieter so that way all the strobes will flash because if I have the audio louder, for some odd reason, some of the strobes won't flash sometimes. The RSS completely stopped flashing when I turned the volume all the way up on that board. Go ahead and find my keys. There it is. Alright, here we go. So everything will synchronize, so I guess the lower the volume or if the audio is completely shut off, they will all synchronize just fine. With the exception of this one, which misses a few flashes. I don't think it's because it's a bad device, but I think it's because it's being interfered by the uh, MP3 board, but I might be wrong. Let's activate smoke detector. Okay, maybe that's not going to work. Oh, oh, you just saw it. So, if you guys didn't notice, uh, the strobe did not flash a few times. But I'm going to be taking the system down eventually. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we'll use a little piece of wire. Why not? There we go. The strobe's not flashing all the time. It keeps missing. I'm not sure if the other ones do it, but it just it just happens to be that one. It just did it again. I just caught it. All right, we'll go ahead and reset the system and I'm gonna show you something else. All right, so we are near the carbon monoxide detector. The system's been reset. Now, remember what I said earlier about the MT's horn being disconnected? Well, here's why. So you notice how it played a different message? Well, that's what it did. So you now you got the wheel lock strobes flashing. And so is that empty. Now all the strobes are in perfect sync because they're not wired to the neck. Hard to see. And yeah, just tripped on them.
there's the Alexa. So silenced it, the strobes shut off. Now, I wonder what happens if I activate the fire alarm system while that's silenced. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna pull the BG-12 again. Ground fault. All right, let's go ahead and reset the system. So that is everything on the system. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there's been a few weird system test errors lately with the strobes as well as the CO detector, but this is just gonna probably be a one-time thing. You know, maybe I'll do a separate video on showing off all the different voice evac messages I can do, but. Anyway, that is it for the system test. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.